The All Blacks finished their 2020 campaign. Now they have time to reflect on the season and their head coach, Ian Foster. Well, he's had about a week, Fozzie. You've had a week to, I suppose, gather your thoughts. You're actually looking pretty sharp, clean shaven. Is there a process you've been going through in quarantine? How are you coping with time on your own, looking back at this campaign? Yeah, no, look, it's been uh, it's been intriguing coming from the intensity of a of a competitive environment and then coming into the the solitude of your own thoughts. So it's been um but it's been a reflective time. It's great. I've got an extra cycle in here, so I'm working hard to try to get get fitter, which has been good, and trying to use the time really, really valuable. Fozzy, you know, the cups are in the cupboard. That's was main goal for this year. But what were your biggest personal learnings for your first year in charge? Yeah, good question. Look, it's been a look, clearly it's been a very, very different year for for us as a team, for all black fans. You know, we've we've come through it, we've finally got some rugby at the end and, and then we've it's just been a six test program. So how we've been we haven't really been able to periodise this this campaign. It's really been just just go and get it and so there's been a whole lot of variables that have been very different you know overall I'd have to say I'm pretty satisfied with the campaign I thought there was some um, you know I thought we showed how good we can be we we won two trophies but there's also the lows and, and particularly the Argentinian game that were really really frustrating and and so it sort of showed that the consistency is missing with us at the moment with this group and it's something that we're striving for and, and really are going to work hard to get but 2020 gave us some fantastic experiences, some fantastic learnings, and uh, and I'm sure that Brisbane game and that Argentinian game will hold us in good stead going forward. Foz, you, you talk about reflecting, and you look back at some of those uh, sort of moments, but you're a fairly young team, your first opportunity as, as a coach in 2020. What's one of the... Give, give us an insight about one of the proudest moments about this team in 2020 that sort of made, made you, I suppose, you know, very happy. Yeah, look, in some ways, um, you know, the, the, the big moments, you know, the, the Eden Park, the, the Sydney and, and, um, and the Newcastle moments, they're all, we're all pretty high up there. But I think for me, um, you know, we had 14 players uh, which are either new or, or nearly new or recently returned to the All Black environment. We had a big squad of 38. Uh, we travelled over there in a very unique circumstance and... And to me, the, the blending of the newness and, and the people who have been there before and, and the leadership of the group, particularly led by Sam and his leaders, I thought was outstanding. And there was a real movement in our environment and our culture. The, the new boys brought in a, a bit of freshness that, that our seniors were really keen to embrace. And, and I think we made some good strides in that space. Some really exciting new, new talent, Fozzy, I think. We spoke about how hard it is for you moving forward. You've got 30-odd test matches till the World Cup. I mean, how do you now start going, got to take some risks, put guys like Hoskins out there? I know you did well putting Hakeda out there, but is that part of your planning moving forward? Do you have to take more risk than you'd like? Yeah, well, I think, you know, we, we did that this year in many ways, JK. Like, I think, and, and the answer to your question is yes, we do. You know, because the... The cycle's been cut short, but we've just got to be grateful we got six tests. And, you know, if you looked at it, our objectives this year, we're really to, we wanted to lock up the Bledisloe, we wanted to win the, the, the Tri-Nations, but we also wanted to develop and, and give some opportunities to some new players. The, the fact that 12 out of those 14 players actually got game time was really, really pleasing. And I know some of it was a lot less game time than, than what we would have... What, what we would have preferred. <laughs> Perfect. Sorry, that's just You're in opinion. demand. You're in demand, that, that, Fozzie. Room service. That, that, that's my <laughs> quarantine dinner order coming through. <laughs> um, so uh, that, that's life in the, in, the, in, the, in the hotel room. But, you know, coming back to that, I, I just felt that we, um, we were able to give some opportunity. And that, that gave us a little bit of imbalance sometimes at selection this year. Like we made some wholesale changes going into Brisbane. But... And that, you know, clearly didn't work for us. But I really felt that we needed to give some guys opportunity. And particularly, you know, you look at the likes of Caleb, Hoskins, Akira, uh, or talk about the likes of Alex Hodgman as well. Like, there's a number of guys who've got regular time, I think, that's going to be really beneficial for us.
really want to talk to you, which is great. The fact that everyone's got... Uh, and you, They know that you've got something to say. We were just looking at some footage of like of a Will Jordan. But I'll ask Fozzie, is there a singular, a singular phase of the game or part of the game you walk away from this um, season and go, you know what, we need to improve there um, to be more competitive against the big teams? Yep, I, I think... Went into the game, went into this year, and I think I might have said it on your show earlier. We need to get a little bit more physicality and use our set piece as a weapon. Um, ironically, our line out went from number 10 in the world last year to number one in the world this year. And I think we, we saw real positive signs in that area, particularly our driving play off it and the consistency of balls. So we made some big gains and some key focus areas. I think the area that, that we've got to work hardest on is, is, is when teams distract us. You know, in both Brisbane and and um, and Parramatta game, we we had we had you know we, we struggled with some refereeing, particularly at scrum and the breakdown, and we didn't make great adjustments there. We um, we enabled teams to niggle us off the ball, and 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 that resulted in that, in some patterns and, and some behaviours, and and particularly in our attack game where we got blinkered and we really went to the wrong places, and so. We, we spent a lot of time after that Argentinian game really working hard on what we thought were the, the cues for us getting into that state and and learning what, what the opposition and other things do that, that get us out of our kilter of our game. And and that's why I'm immensely proud of that last game. I, mean, I just felt that, you know, whilst we deserved criticism for the loss to Argentina, you know, I thought that 38-0 was an absolute methodical game where we applied a lot of the things that we'd learned from the previous two and... And, and really stayed clearer and, and more focused on what we wanted to do. And I think that's probably our major challenge in 21. Well, Fozzie, we know it's been a difficult year for you, but you've got time. Uh, the phone will start ringing eventually, uh, once again. And you get your order in, get back on the bike, because they'll uh, weigh each other and play it out. But, uh, look, I know it's been a challenging year for you. It's great to see you smiling. Enjoy your time off, because before you know it, Super Rugby Aotearoa <laughs> is just around the corner. <laughs> And it all starts all over again. Thanks very much for joining us, not just today, but throughout the year on The Breakdown. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.